Hello everyone, welcome back to WoW Classic TBC and our Human Mage. Starting off in Stormwind today, I want to go over here and finish up this quest, Items of Some Consequence. We've been holding onto this for a little while now. And at this point, I want to clear it off the map and see what comes of it. We've also, I was able to equip uh, the Robe of Power, which I had crafted. And for some reason, I thought I was waiting till level 36 to be able to equip this. But we could actually equip it at 33. 12 int, 8 spirit, increases damage and healing done by 14. So, pretty big upgrade over the Azir vest that we were previously wearing. And it covers up a little bit more of us as well. So, sometimes that can be good. A little bit of modesty is never a bad thing. Uh, are we going in here? Yes. So we're going to do this and then we're probably going to hop on over to Stranglethorn. Hope you guys are doing well today. And I should say thank you so much for clicking on the video and for choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I do appreciate it. So when he's in this state, I feel like he's he's doing the event. Could be doing the event for the two Draenei behind us. And if the music doesn't chill out, I'm going to have to turn the music down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so I think he's mid-event right now. That's kind of the pain with this one. Is that much like an escort quest, if he's got his little robot guy out and he's doing part of the quest for somebody, we can't do it. Uh, and we're getting some spoilers <laughs> by watching other people doing it, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure spoilers. Maybe after they kill those guys, maybe we will be able to turn this in. Let's hang out for a second and see. Uh, while we're doing that, is there any, is there a dungeon that I want to be running? Um, okay. Alright, we've got an invite here from uh, Kaladin Stormblessed. I'm assuming he's going to start this quest as well. Uh, we could do Cathedral now. I'm just gonna put myself... Oh no, I'm not gonna list the group. Let's not, let's not do that. We're in a group, I, I, have, I have to wait. Alright, any minute now we should see the turn in over his head. At least, that's what I'm hoping for. This guy takes forever. Yes, he does seem to take his sweet time. That is true. Oh, we could, uh... Definitely spread some buffs around here. Still trying to get into the habit of doing that more consistently when I see players in the world or we're grouping with somebody. Yeah, I don't know what he could be doing at this point. This event is over. Um, Pleased to meet you. You'll be had to be patient. I've got my spy bot inside working on a very delicate matter. Be seeing you. Hmm. <laughs> Where is your spy bot? Can we like help him out? Hey, there he is. Uh, maybe we're on a different chain. I don't think we got that, did we? Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think that we... Yeah, it definitely didn't let us do this. Um, and we're not going to get credit for anything else that happens here either. That maybe someone else started it? I, I really don't know. I'm going to do some research on this one, and uh, I'm going to look on Wowhead and see exactly what's supposed to happen here. 
Maybe it's not something we can do in a group, I have no idea. I'm also noticing now that we are PvP flagged, which is a little bit odd. But yeah, I'm gonna do a little cut here and then just come back in when I have things figured out or when we're on track to do something else. Alright, so yeah, I... I don't think we're gonna be doing that quest. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's just get going back here in Stranglethorn. This is where I really want to be. This is where I want to be questing today. We could go check out the compound. I think I'm going to come down here and do a loop looking for our last Crocolisk skin that we need for that quest. And then I want to come down here and fight some trolls. Maybe work on getting the tablets that we need. That is the plan for now, guys. Hope you don't mind seeing so much of Stranglethorn Vale. It is one of my favorite zones, and there's always a lot to do here. So we do tend to spend quite a bit of time here. At 38, I think we're going to head over into Dustwallow Marsh. We have a few quests that we have to do there. We have a mage quest to do there. Uh, we have the missing diplomat follows up there, so I'm really looking forward to getting back into that chain and being able to continue that one. Uh, which is our ongoing journey to find out who kidnapped the King of Stormwind. It's funny that's such like a major plot point. You could completely miss it if you don't pick up that quest in the city, if you don't follow its subsequent chains. You could miss out on the plot line entirely. And I, I, from what I know, the little that I do know about uh, Varian's disappearance and what happened to him, the plot line gets rather large. So it's interesting to think that uh, it was a game back then where you could play the whole game, level yourself up, do end game content, and never have touched that quest uh, at all. So very, very cool. So far really happy that we've been able to see some of that. That was the last Crocolis skin we needed. We only needed two of them. Let's head down into these troll ruins and uh, see if we can get some ears, see if we can find the tablet that we need. We'll keep our eyes open here and see if the shaman have a heal. I will uh, try to be ready with the counter spell if that happens. Well, he didn't try to heal. Not at all. These guys who can throw, I'd like to keep them locked out. They have quite a, quite a little range here. We can try to keep them locked out of both of their ranged and melee abilities. Which is kind of what I like to do. Shouldn't have, I should not have evocated there. I needed to eat anyway. I should have just, should have just eaten, drank our mana back. Since we are going to have to eat to get our health back anyhow. We do have almost 3,000 mana on the top end which is quite a bit and then to counterbalance that we only have like 800 health so and there is our first ear that's good tablet's going to be somewhere down here in the ruins which thankfully uh, this warrior is going to go ahead and Open the way for us to come in here and click on it. I appreciate that. Everybody here is on the ground. I'm going to come back here. We can fight the trolls back that way. 
They're going to be a little bit of a higher level, I believe, but we'll be able to work towards getting the other two tablets we need also. I am in the queue for Cathedral. There really aren't a lot of people looking for Cathedral right now, so I don't know if that's actually going to happen today or not. It could. Looks like I, yeah, yeah, that's not really what I wanted to have happen there. I don't want to drop down over there, not at all. Uh, the tablets are going to be a ways back into Zulkunda here. Let's find a likely place to get in. This doesn't seem great. We could sheep dude's pet. I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to throw at us. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and do a mana shield. A little bit of distance on his pet. Probably a good idea just to meticulously clear the guys in our way. I don't think we're going to be able to avoid many of these without causing ourselves headaches. With the hunters at least, we're probably going to have to eat after each pull. I mean, we could do mana shield, but then instead of health, we're going to be eating through mana, so... It basically balances itself out no matter what you do. You're either going to have to drink more, or you're going to have to eat a little bit. I like the idea of coming in here... Freezing. Oh, he, he got us, man. He did the trick that we were going to do, but he did it to us. Yeah, that was uh, very smart of him. He saw us coming in and he threw a net. Mystics, uh, they have a chance they could, they could heal. Yeah, here's the healing wave. Let's counter that. Get our health and mana back. Starting to reach a point on the mage between familiarity and just having a lot of different spells to deal with different situations that I, I'm starting to feel pretty powerful. Which is about the time on a character when I start making stupid choices and getting us into more trouble than we need to be in. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, like right here, that was not a good move. Sheep you. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm gonna pop a um, potion here for healing. And it would probably also be a good idea to go ahead and conjure ourselves a mana agate. It's basically a free mana pot. It's not as good as the mana pots we have access to. We probably have access to better ones than this. That's what I need to do next time I'm at the auction house. Is I really need to look for a stack of mana pots. Health pots too. Always great to have basically on any character. Uh, okay, these guys, uh, it's going to be a problem. Let's go ahead and we will, well, let's go ahead and get all of our mana back. How about that? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I do want to get them before they path away. We are going to have to make our way up here. Actually, one of them is behind us. Maybe we should be investigating that first. Uh, one of them, it says, is like right on the other side of this wall. How did I miss that? Uh, we have aggroed somebody. A scout. I'm going to try to range these guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, because pulling somebody through a wall is not a good look. Not sure how we're going to do that without pulling that guy through the wall. He was just kind of hanging out down there. Maybe this guy's going the same way. Just kind of see what he does. He's probably just going to run right in.
Well, that worked out okay. Still got a few guys in here we need to clear, it looks like. Tablet might be right around the corner. There we go. Uh, I will take this guy out back here. Try to be a help. Oh, he resisted. I do appreciate that help. That would have been a bunch of tricky little pulls uh, with a lot of sheeping if we hadn't had a little bit of assistance. Now we have to work our way up to the other one. I wonder if this guy is going to be going in the same direction as we are. Uh, I'm not going to mount up here. I am going to eat and drink though. Yeah, the warrior is indeed cleaving his way through these guys. I remember those days. Uh, we are out of water, we're gonna have to rectify that. We'll let him get some of his rage out up there. And uh, we'll go ahead and drink to full mana. Then we'll head up and help. I like that sometimes the headhunters get confused and they just kind of stop attacking you. Like they aren't sure what they should be doing. Back-to-back -back frostbite procs, very nice. And this is the last uh, tablet that we need, actually. Very cool, yep. Yeah, we probably should have cleared this guy, shouldn't we? Uh, I'm gonna loot these guys because there is a chance that they will have ears. No, they did not. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any other quests to go back here. 
But I will, uh, I will pull this guy. Alright, with that done, it is time to make our way out of here, though. We can kill trolls in easier places, the, they're not quite as high of a level, if we just want to get the ears. So for now, we're going to head out. Let's come back down here, maybe over by the beach, and see if any of those trolls are back up. Though it's it's typically kind of a farmed out area, we might get lucky with some respawns. We'll, we'll find guys like this out in the wilderness who are on their own, and we'll take them out as well. It's a decent place to start. I like the guys who are not headhunters. Anybody who's just not going to stand back and throw axes at us is okay in my book. Uh, what we'll do is if we have to re-sheep, we'll, we'll re-sheep. Although we can't really afford to get hit much more. So that's a real thing that's happening. Well, that was close. That pushed us basically to the limit of our capabilities here, pulling all three of these guys. Uh, other things I could have done, you know, having a mana agate, yep, would have helped us out. I could have popped the mana potion. Once we start taking damage, we, we really need to stop taking damage basically immediately. We can't afford to take a lot of damage. Uh, no matter how we manage the uh, pull, they can't be hitting us. Especially if there's going to be three of them, there's really no moment when they can be hitting us. We did just get really lucky with having all of these guys up, actually. Um, I do see some over here in the in the jungle, and it looks like uh, it looks like our buddy is here. We are obviously working on uh, basically the same quests. 
He also seems to have decided to come down here and fight for his ears. But at this point, we're kind of like friendly rivals because we are gunning for the same mobs. And they are pretty limited right now. Wasted that Frost Nova, didn't wait to see if uh, Frostbite would proc, and it definitely did. We've got some guys that are already coming back up inside the ruins here. He saw them as well. Let's drink some mana back really quick so we can get back up and be on the move again. I do see someone over here I want to get to. Let's try to give ourselves another second to drink. Looks like they are all down at the moment. Kind of want to take a look at the spam for a minute here and see if they are looking for someone for Cathedral. They might not be. They're in the queue for RFD and Uldamon as well, so they might not be planning to do um, Cathedral. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's draw him out a little bit. Oh great, yeah, we drew him the wrong way. Uh, we're obviously running now. That was just completely misplayed from front to back. I panicked as soon as I saw the respawns. Okay, uh, let's try that again. We will approach from a different angle this time. 
We also need to get our buffs back up. Which means that we might as well go ahead and evocate. Yikes. This guy is making a real hassle out of himself, isn't he? Yeah, we can't do anything. Yeah, we're dead. This guy's gonna kill us. He really went to town on us, didn't he? Shield bash, shield bash. Oh, man. Eight health left? That was just awful. I feel terrible about all of that. Yeah, I don't think we even deserve to live. I hope, like, a critter comes up and hits us for, like, five damage and we die. That was just really, really awful. Um, I don't know if it was just bad luck. I mean, he got close to us way too fast. He, he locked us out of our ice spells a couple of times. Also really bad. Hmm. Yeah, that was, that was just awful. Not really any other way to feel about it. Yeah, it's much better when we proc a frostbite on the warriors. So they can't get anywhere close to us with those shields. Alright, our competition has all returned. I guess they're having a hard time getting all of their ears as well. We have 12 out of 15, so we are well on our way. It shouldn't be too much longer. Oh, I don't think I ever mentioned it, but I did train the next rank of skinning, so we're no longer capped out there. We can level that up all the way to level 300. In case anyone was concerned that I had forgotten to do that, I did not. Let's see if we can get in here and get this guy. Of course, he's an axe thrower, that's perfect.
All right, one more ear to go. All the bodies have disappeared for the most part, except for the one we just killed, so any minute now they should be popping back into existence. Nobody's up out here yet. Yep, this is our life now until we get this last item. Uh, after that, we could probably come over here and get the tumbled crystals for hostile takeover. And we're probably at a point where we can do the Shadow Maw Panthers as well. Those guys are going to be hanging out in stealth, so we'll have to put some time into actually finding them. Uh, jungle... Raptor, okay, jungle stalkers for raptors. Can't do those yet. Hmm. Alright, what's the hold up here, guys? Plenty of people need you right now. Here we go, the guys out in the jungle are coming back. And now everyone inside here is back. I'm going to sheep this guy. And we're just going to take care of the shaman. And yeah, we have our items, so we are gonna we're gonna take it and run. We can see if uh, Sindal is up. We need his paw for Tiger Mastery. Kind of doubting they're gonna be up if people are out here kind of farming the tigers in the area, but we can see. Somebody's fighting him, we're probably not going to get up here in time to, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're not going to get up here in time to do squat, so, yeah, there's that, we can skin him, that's fun, some thick leather for us, and I, I don't know if I'm going to wait around for this, we, we might be back in the area at some point, uh, but for right now, let's just go ahead and we're going to get turned in what we can back at the rebel camp. Uh, just one quest, I guess. Everything else, I think, turns in down in Booty Bay, so we'll have to catch a flight. Doesn't seem like we're going to find many groups until we can do Oldemon and Razorfen Downs and nobody's doing Cathedral. It's a pretty good experience farm, especially with the buff. I'm really surprised that more people are not taking advantage of that. 
we got quite a bit of experience doing it a couple of times on our rogue. I will study these legends to see if there is some link between the trolls and the evil that has possessed Colonel Curzon. While I study those legends you acquired, gather for me implements of evil troll magic. Enter the territory of the Skullsplitter trolls, a second tribe to the distant south, and acquire Skullsplitter fetishes from their witch doctors and mystics. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay, yeah, we're not quite at a place to do that yet. Which is okay. Uh, maybe we come down here and try to do Hostile Takeover. That would pair okay with all the quests we have to turn in back in Booty Bay if we can get that done. Yeah, let's do that. If we can get that done, I will be happy flying back to Booty Bay and getting things turned in down there and seeing what chains and going from there. I, I should have repaired, yeah. I, I, I don't know if there's a repair guy at the Rebel Camp. Uh, but repairing is going to be a priority as soon as we can. Probably don't need to interrupt the fire shield because we're not going to be physically attacking them. So the fire shield should not do anything to us, I don't think. Could be wrong. I don't think the fire shield hits us unless we're meleeing. Counterspelled and frozen in place. That guy is not having a good time.
All right, well, I don't know if I want to fight this guy. He doesn't drop anything we need, but if I don't move, he's going to aggro. Let's come over here instead. All right, seven out of eight. This has been dropping pretty consistently for us. I know I shouldn't say that when we need one more, but it's true, so one more to go. We have been getting some pretty big crits and uh, always happy to see crits. It's been a really, really fun time. Now that Frostbite is proccing constantly, like at least once a fight I feel like it procs almost. We don't even have all the talents that are going to boost our crit, and we're already getting like really big crits, so it's pretty promising. And that's the last item that we need. We have Shadow Maw Panthers really nearby to us here. We, we could do that. Um, we could also just kind of wait on it for now. We'll, let's go through the area. We'll see who we can find. The thing is that they hang out in stealth and they share their spawn points with the tigers that are in the area. And we don't need the tigers right now. There might be a quest in Booty Bay for us to get like a pristine fang or something from the tigers in that area. Which is kind of why I'm hesitant to focus the panthers right now. But we'll pop our heads into the area and see what we can find. It probably wouldn't hurt to take out like five or six of them now and come back for the rest later. Just because they, they are kind of difficult to find. Uh, that's the sound we want to hear. They're also going to be a little bit difficult for us to engage because we're going to have to engage them by uncovering them and we're going to have to blow Frost Nova basically right away. This doesn't really leave us many tricks to uh, take them out except to pretty much blow through our mana. That is a good time to get a Cathedral Invite. Looks like the group is still forming up, that gives us a little bit of time.
Now these guys tend to hang out around trees. In stealth. Just hiding, just waiting, biding their time to strike. Right now all I see are tigers. <laughs> That's kind of the other problem is that uh, they share their spawns with these tigers. And I'm pretty sure there's a quest we can get, unless that was a horde specific quest, which it, it could have been a horde specific quest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, not a good time for us. Not This is not really... Not really what we want to be doing. There's Bagthera. Uh, they're gonna kill us, probably. Alright, we are getting out of here, guys. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here. We'll come back at a higher level to take this stuff on. It's all level 38. We're level 36. We don't have to do this to ourselves right now. We have plenty of stuff we can do to ourselves. That doesn't involve fighting higher level mobs that are very aggressive and very fast. Uh, let's get back up to the rebel camp. If we have time, we'll, uh... Tirasfall, we might not have time. We might be getting an invite immediately. Everybody is in Tirasfall. So, yeah, guys, I'm gonna end this one here. That way we're gonna be able to make... Uh, the Cathedral Run will be the start of a new episode. I will get some stuff turned in down in Booty Bay. And we'll pick up from there next time. Thank you guys so much for being here. Truly do appreciate it. Um, we'll do this Cathedral Run. It should be good. And it'll probably be the start of an episode, but not all of the episodes. So yeah, look forward to that. Take care of yourselves out there. Take care of each other. See you back here in Azeroth again really soon. Bye now.